at the Ambet store, Ambet store store. Gift bags. Transfer pattern, punch and bordery, 99 cents. I don't know if this has any value or not. Transfer patterns. Does anybody still do punch and bordery? Hot iron. All right, look one of these up and find out. I spoke to the manager and I was able to work out a deal on these hot iron transfer for embroidery punch patterns. They're mixed patterns within a bag, originally 99 cents a bag. I think there's about 23 packs. And I made an offer of $10 and they accepted. So you're in a hurry. Well, you better calm down. I have 27 bags of transfer patterns. And in each bag are multiple patterns. I mean, this one might have about six or seven. Same thing here. I mean, that's got more than that. But anyway, I don't even know what all I have here. And I don't think they're in any kind of order. Even though it says 99 cents per bag, I bought all of these for, for $10. But I did just discover that inside each one, most of them, there's an old price tag of 80 cents on most of them. Not sure if we're gonna take that off or leave it, but I have to pull all of these out of the bags and organize them and see what I've got here. Yeah, that's what I have to do and get them listed on eBay. I have them separated numerically, 100 range, 200, three jumps to five, eight, nine thousand, two thousand tons of patterns in the 3000 range, 4000 and just one five. And then I have some unusual ones here that have D numbers in front of them and CT numbers. And I even have some Warner Brothers and a little bit of everything with some different numbers. Oh, NFL, Redskins, Buccaneers, Patriots, so three NFL. Now, I did notice as I was going through these that, you know, I have all these 3,000. Let's take this as an example. There are Christmas ones mixed in here. So I'm thinking about pulling all the Christmas ones and having a listing with variations for the patterns that are all Christmas and putting them in numerical order. Basically, when a company puts out a new pattern, they just give it a new number and they don't think about a series, like all Christmas, all animals, all birds, etc. So I'm gonna be breaking each of these stacks down now to make more sense of them when it comes to doing a listing with variations. So that's my next step. I have 56 miscellaneous patterns, 9 specialty, 12 religious, 28 animals and wildlife, 35 birds and butterflies, 21 floral, 43 holiday, Christmas, seasonal, 14 boat or fish or nautical, Nine for pets. The brand is Pretty Punch. They're hot iron transfer patterns for punch embroidery, needlepoint canvas, textile painting, and other crafts. Altogether, I have 227 patterns that I got at Ambets for $10. That's 0 .044 cents each. Now, let's get them set up on eBay with a variation listing. This is a comprehensive video so be prepared for detail what i thought was going to be simple turned out not to be to start my listing i type in hot iron transfer pattern and at the bottom i chose continue without match i selected new for the condition and continued to the listing the first thing you have to do is find out if it even allows for a variation listing i assumed it would because most patterns do allow for variation listing so I'm scrolling down and looking for it, but the variation listing option wasn't there. 
it wasn't there. So I started over. I went to start your listing and I typed in embroidery pattern and the word transfer and then I chose continue without match. Again I chose the condition of new and I started looking down through the listing for the variation option. But again, it wasn't there. I thought, oh no, I've gone to all this work and now I'm going to have to list each pattern individually. No way. That was not my plan. So I tried again. I typed in the word transfer patterns. It brought up several options for me. And I saw this one that says crafts, needle crafts and yarn, embroidery, cross stitch, hand embroidery patterns and magazines. And it says punch needle patterns. These are punch embroidery transfer patterns. So I'm like, I sure hope this one works. And once again, I chose continue without match and condition new. It's new old stock. They're unused patterns. And what are we looking for? We are looking for the word variations. And bingo, there it is underneath the item specifics and before the condition. I can't even begin to tell you how happy I am to see the word variations. It says save time and money by listing multiple variations of your item in one multi-quantity fixed price listing. Before I select edit, let's jump up to the title and see what we can come up with. I had to play around with it quite a bit to fit in Christmas and holiday. I had to eliminate some words that I wanted to use to fit that in, you know, Christmas and holiday. Sometimes I wish we had unlimited characters, but I understand why it's short. People don't read the whole thing anyway, do they now? Next, I copy the title and then I scroll down and paste it in the description box. I'm going to do a little bit of setup here. I chose the brand of Pretty Punch. Let's create a custom label SKU. Find our store category which is simply craft corner. And let's fill in some item specifics. The type is a hot iron transfer pattern. The patterns were printed in the United States. I highly recommend you create some custom item specifics such as pattern only for punch embroidery, needlepoint, canvas, textile painting, other. Theme, Christmas, holiday, seasonal. And this one is super important. The item specific says sold individually, select option in all caps and quotes, select option from drop down menu. I always add this to my variation listings. On a few occasions, I've had someone think that they could buy all of the patterns for the price they saw. Nope, nope, that's not how it works. That's why I do a lead photo with a little sign that says sold individually, select option from drop down box. And this one, iron on transfer pattern only, supplies not included. Now it's time to get started on the variations. I'm ready to start. I have the draft listed. I'm starting with the Christmas patterns, Christmas and holiday seasonal. I will be taking each pattern and photographing it, the front and the back. That's all I'm photographing. Most of them are sealed tight. I'm going to leave the price on here because, you know, it's irrelevant. I'm going to put a note that is sold at current value regardless of original price marked. Not every listing allows for variation. They have NPM and type as options. I'm going to add my own under add your own attribute and I'm going to call it transfer pattern number. So that's my main category and then I create different options out of it. Excuse that mouse toothpaste. It's going to show up all the time because it's one of the last things that I put in here. And I'm going to put number 512 and I'm going to call it, um, so I'm going to call it deer, reindeer, and add that. See how it shows up on the right hand side under transfer pattern number. And then I can add another one. And these are in numerical order now. So this is number 850. And this one is a scarecrow. I figured for Halloween, that's why I left it in here, fall or Halloween. And it has balloons. See how it pops up over here. I'm just flipping over the patterns as I go. 865 is the next one and it's um, Christmas. Let me just put bells. Bells, Christmas. Can't type. That's how it goes when I'm trying to teach. The next one is number 869. Santa Claus. Santa with packages. You just name it whatever the name is on the pattern or whatever you need to call it. 
I have two of those, so I'll be finishing that quantity up when we get to that point. Here's another number 946. This is a Santa. And it looks like he has a candy cane. Let's add another one. I'm going to do this for all of them. This one is number 950-950A. And it is a stocking with a um, child and teddy bear. It says it's a designer collection, so it should be worth more. 950. Next one is similar but different, but it's very similar. 951, 950A stocking. Looks like a, a girl and a doll. Maybe the last one was a boy. I guess it was. Okay, let's say I want to, I'll just say child on the last one. I'm not going to go back and change that. Here's what the little girl looks like. And because I'm in numerical order, the next one is uh, 960 and it's the um, American flag. I'm going to keep doing this until I have the whole stack listed and then I'll show you the next step. You can see under transfer pattern number, all the different ones that I set up. I did put them in numerical order because I took the time to organize them in numerical order. If you had to, you could X one out and delete it. If you needed to, you could actually move it into another position, but I don't want to do that. Whoops, see I didn't want to do that, so now I gotta move this one back here. Okay, so you can move them around a little bit. Next, you just hit continue, oh, and this is where it gets tricky. See here, add photos, and you might think, oh, let's just start adding all the photos that I took but no, no, you don't want to do that. And instead, go down just a little bit where it says use default photos. Open that up. Choose transfer pattern number or whatever title you gave to yours. And this is where you want to add the photos so that in the listing, when someone clicks on the title of the pattern, the photos match up to the pattern. It's defaulting to 512 deer reindeer. And I'm only going to be taking two photos per pattern so that's where I will go in and add my photos and you just click on each of these and add your photos otherwise they're not tied together your photos aren't tied together you can do a lead photo here with all the patterns and signage in it that says sold individually select option from drop down box that's fine I'm going to be doing that before I'm done with this whole thing but to match up the photos to the actual pattern or variation that you created my variation name is called transfer pattern number this is where you go under add variation photos you can't do this on your phone by the way you have to be on a desktop or laptop Before I get ahead of myself, I want to create drafts for all the other categories that I found when going through the hot iron transfer patterns. And you can see this one here that I started and I have 41 items listed in it. But before I insert photos and go that far with it, I am going to create a copy. I'm just going to create one for now and I'll show you why. Now it says it has 41 items and this one has 41 items. Well, let's resume draft on the copy I just made. What I want to do is to go into the variations that I set up because again, I'm making a template. That's what I'm doing, making a template. I need to get rid of all these transfer patterns so they don't get mixed up with the new categories that I'm going to set up. So I'm going to delete the variations and it says, do you want to delete all of them? Yes, on this one I do. So now I no longer have any variations. However, I'm going to go in and edit this again and at least create an attribute, which as you know, I called it hot iron transfer pattern. And save that. I'm not going to add the attributes yet because I want to make copies of this. It's not going to let me move on. I'll just put test here until I add at least one. I could have put draft there as well. I'm not doing anything with the photos, nothing with the prices, save and close. And of course it's not going to be Christmas and holiday. So I can take that part out of the title. Price is the same, category is the same, pretty much everything else is the same. I can see it's missing some of my custom SKUs. Not sure why. I don't know why I lost those. Patterns, sold, individually. Select 
option from drop down box. Pattern only, supplies not included. See all photos. I'm in Seller Hub, and this one that shows a quantity of one is what I'm going to use as my template. And I'm going to go ahead, since I know how many copies. I have 10 categories, and I only have one pretty much drafted here with 41 items. So I need to create some more of these. I need to create eight more and copy catalog product information. Sure, why not? I don't always check that. So now you can see here, I have all these drafts set up and I can make more if I need them or if I made too many, I can delete one. But these are prepared as templates. But this one here is what I'm going to go back to and start inserting the photos, the one that says Christmas and holiday and has 41 items started. So I resume draft. I haven't created my lead photo yet, but I'm going down to variations and this is where I go in and edit take you to this page here where you can edit or delete variations. I don't want to change anything. I'm good with that. Again, remember that this photo here is just your lead photo, maybe a group shot with a sign that says sold individually. This is where I can add the lead photo. I'm going to put three photos in here. This is what my lead photo looks like. Sometimes I spread them out more, but because they're numerical order and there's so many, I didn't want to risk getting them out of order. So that's my lead photo. I'm leaving this in here and this in here. What I want to go down to is use default photos and choose my transfer pattern number. Let's import some photos for the deer, reindeer. You can click either place in the middle or up to the right here, but add photos. Find your photo file. And I see the deer ones here on the top. I'm also going to be adding this other photo said pattern sold individually just to remind them. I can resort these. And one more photo that I want to add. Another reminder, pattern price at current value regardless of original price. So let's slide these over and get them in order. I want to change the lead photo. So this is what I have. I have a photo of the front, a close-up photo, a photo of the back, my little sign about sold individually, which I just created on my phone in one of my apps, and then about the pattern price. So I have all the photos that I want for the deer. Let's do the scarecrow. The scarecrow, I've got three photos here. So this is what we have, photo of the front, close-up photo, photo of the back, and my two notes. Let's do one more, Bell's Christmas. I think you get the idea now of how to load the photos. So I'll continue this for all the rest of them, but I'm not gonna do that part on video. I have all the photos in place. I decided to remove the sold individually in each of the individual listings and just keep pattern price at current value, not original price. So all of these are done. Now the next thing I need to do is set the pricing. I opened up eBay on another page so that I could check these. I'm going to check 512 Deer. Let me show you what I've done here. I've already typed in Pretty Punch Iron-On Transfer. All I have to do is change the number at the end and see what comes up. Here's one listed for $3.99, but let's jump down to sold, sold and completed. One sold for $3.99 plus shipping. I have my shipping a little bit higher. I have found that some things in California are not shipping for $3.99. I might go back to $3.99 and just eat the cost once in a while for California sales. I could make them all at $4.95 and see if I can give a discount if they buy multiple. I did think the deer should be worth more. So this is where I am with pricing. Ones that are just average, basic, $4.95. It's special, like deer are, reindeer, $5.95. Santa's $5.95, but stockings, I decided to go to $6.95 on a stocking pattern. Snowman, $5.95. So Santa's pretty much at $5.95. Santa's the snowman at $5.95. Basic ones, $4.95, stockings at $6.95, if that makes any sense. And I did have to go back and choose does not apply for the uh, UPC. I chose does not apply because they were flagging me on that. Got everything filled in, save and close. This is what it looks like now on the listing side with all these variations. It's very disappointing to not see an option to give a discount for buying more than one. That's very disappointing. The most I can do is discount the shipping, which I think I am going to change this back to 
I have a shipping policy set up for $3.95 plus $1 more. I say here jewelry, but it can be used for patterns or anything. So $3.95 for the first $1 for each additional one. But I was hoping to give a discount if they bought more than one pattern. Let's um, list it. View listing. Here it is. Starting at $4.95. And over to the right says transfer pattern number. I could have put hot iron transfer, but transfer pattern number. And let's see if I've got them matched up. When I click on deer, there's the first photo, the second photo, the third photo, the fourth photo. Click on scarecrow, the first photo, the close up, the back, and the pattern price information. So I think I've got it. it looks good. Here's the bells, first photo, close up, back, and the pattern price, not at original price. You think they'll see it? <laughs> Any chance that they'll miss it? Here's the pricing. Let's go see the details. It says $3.95 shipping and handling and dollar for each additional one. Going ground advantage. Of course, eBay is already putting other listings right in the middle of mine. That's what happens. By the way, I do not accept returns. And here's the item specifics and the item description. And you've got the shipping returns and payment column right here. This one is done. I'm so excited that I got the first one done. It took a while. It always takes a while to set it up when you're working with so many patterns. But look at all the patterns I have listed under one listing. That means if you were paying for your listings, which we're not because we have up to 10,000 available with our store, but if you were paying for all of these individual listings, well, a listing with variations, it's one listing with multiples. But if you recall at the beginning, I had to work at finding the right category, the punch needle pattern category, and start a listing from scratch. I did not do sell one like this, but started a listing from scratch so that I could set up the variations. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue, and Mark and I will see you soon.